Let's focus on the chip war now. There are many battles within this wider conflict. You've got the US versus China, you've got Taiwan versus China, Intel versus Nvidia. So many battles shaping this war. But tonight, we're focusing on one particular battle, China versus the Netherlands. The Dutch Prime Minister was in Beijing today. His name is Mark Root. He had a very important meeting with Xi Jinping, and the background was chips. She had a stern warning for the Dutch Prime Minister. He said creating trade barriers will lead to confrontation. He also said no one can stop China's progress. Now, those are very tough words. You expect that for Taiwan or the US, but why towards the Netherlands? Because of one company, it's called ASML, a multinational company based in the Netherlands, ASML. And what do they do? They make machines that make chips. Let me explain. Most chips are made from silicon sheets. And these sheets have to be cut and sliced very thin. We are talking about less than 10 nanometers. To put that in context, a strand of your hair is around 100,000 nanometers. So imagine 10 nanometers. You can barely see it. Obviously, you need special technology to do this, to slice the silicon sheet so thin. This technology is called ultraviolet lithography. And who dominates this tech? ASML. This company makes up 62% of the market. Other players include Nikon and Canon. Now, the Netherlands is a US ally. It's a founding member of NATO. So Washington put pressure on the Netherlands. They said, don't do business with China. Don't sell them chip machinery. And last year, the Dutch government agreed. They imposed export licensing. Suppose you want to sell chip machinery abroad. You need the government's clearance. That's licensing. And this year, licenses began to be denied. ASML applied to sell chip machinery to China, but permission was not granted. The Dutch government blocked it. Which brings us to Mark Rutte's visit. He finds himself in a tough spot. On the one hand is the United States, it's a long-time ally, a country that shares nuclear weapons with the Dutch. On the other hand is ASML, the biggest company in the Netherlands, a big money spinner for them. The company is putting pressure on the government. China is their second largest market after Taiwan. So if they cannot sell to China, ASML could lose billions. Add to that the bad timing. You see, the Netherlands had elections in November last year, but no party or group has formed a government. So Mark Root is more of a caretaker. We don't know how much power he really has. But the man on the other side has no such problems. I'm talking about Xi Jinping. He wants to turn China into a chip superpower, and for that he needs ASML. So can he force the Dutch Prime Minister's hand? Well, Xi Jinping does have some leverage, and that is bilateral trade. It was just $3 billion in 1995. Today, it is almost $94 billion. And this trade is tagged in China's favor. Their exports to the Netherlands are worth $70 billion. This includes important electronic items, like modems, routers, computers, laptops, tablets. So Beijing can pull some strings. And the Dutch Prime Minister knows this. He's trying to downplay the impact of this row on overall economic ties. He says his policy does not target any country. I can tell you is that when it uh, is about our semiconductor sector and companies like ASML, uh, that when we have to uh, take measures, that they are never aimed at one country specific, uh, that we always try to make sure that the impact is limited, is not impacting the supply chain. Um, and um, uh, therefore is not impacting, let's say, the overall economic relationship. Of course, no one is buying that, especially not ASML. They're already unhappy with the Dutch government. Recently, there has been talk of the company shifting base, maybe moving out of the Netherlands. The main reason is migration laws. ASML employs around 23,000 people in the Netherlands. Around 40% of them are migrants. So if the rules tighten, the talent pool will shrink. And it's a tough challenge for Mark Root. His career as prime minister may be over, but a new one beckons. Root is front runner to become the next NATO chief. So the allies will be watching his moves closely.